Aquarius, I'm your mistress of manifestations and welcome to your dedicated reading for career, health and money. Cheers, my darlings. Now, these are all general messages. Not everything will resonate with you, but if it does, just claim it 100%. I have already uploaded your dedicated reading for love and romance relationships. This covers every facet of your beautiful existence. Subscribe, join my channel on YouTube. Never miss another reading. Take what's yours, leave the rest. I have your confirmations, your validations, and your answered prayers, Aquarius. Manifest your dream job, health, and money with me. Are you ready? I'm going to give you multiple messages with multiple decks. Let's go. The first message. God, your cards are just popping. Excellent. Now, this for this is my uh what is it called? Life Purpose Oracle Deck. Okay, the first one I have is counseling. This talks about you heal with your words and your advice. I could be talking to somebody who is a counselor and doesn't even know it. And some of you are being asked to start your own little business, maybe your channel on YouTube. You know, tarot is also a kind of guidance and counselling. I'm going to be setting intentions for you throughout this reading. All you have to do is relax, be open, ask believe and you shall receive now some of you may be counselors some of you could be healers you could be something more traditional you know like ther therapy or you know i don't know psychiatrist or you could be somebody like me tarot card reader healer um i don't know well you are being highlighted here you heal with your words your words have some kind of a power and magic career change Somebody here could be going towards a huge change in their career. And this is a lighthouse. It tells me that this is divine guidance, divine timing. It could also be a tower moment. It looks like a tower, but this is a good tower moment. It's going to put you on the right path because the, the, the lighthouse shows the path to people. This is your divine destiny. You're embarking upon a career that brings joy and abundance. Congratulations. Congratulations. It's time to decide. Somebody here has to make a decision. It's time. It's divine time. Nothing can stop it, but it's a positive one. Make a decision based on your heart's true desires. You know, Aquarius, I'm talking to somebody here who's going to have to suddenly make a huge shift in their, well, in their career, but it is something which is going to make your heart sing and dance with joy. I mean, you know, it's almost like the universe, the heavens have been have been conspiring to bring this opportunity to you. Leadership. Somebody here is going to be crowned like these angels are crowning someone. I love this card. It's giving me goosebumps. You're going to be put in a position of power. I think someone here is going to finally become their own boss. And you are going to assume a position of great power and leadership people are going to be looking up to you is that you Aquarius congratulations I love this energy for you it's coming get ready to be crowned to be crowned to be the boss and it's the right time don't question it this is the right time for this to happen now love it Aquarius please career help Finances. It's so one more card, Aquarius. Your spirit. Hold your vision. You know, when I see this card, I think somebody here has had this dream for a long time. Something with your career. And even if it is for your health, if you've had a vision for yourself that I'm going to be so-and-so into 2023, it's going to happen. Hold that vision, okay? And whatever vision you've held for a long time, perhaps with your career and your vocation, I'm setting intentions for you, Aquarius. It's going to be bestowed on you. Like I said, you're going to be crowned. I'm talking to somebody who's going to be given a title here. A huge, huge honor. 
Congratulations, you deserve it. A fiery climax approaches full moon in Aries. There's going to be something which is going to make you a little, you know, nervous. And it's Aries, okay? It's the emperor. It's also the fool. Take that leap of faith. Don't be scared. Don't lighthouse. Remember that tower moment. It's your, my God, you are going to be, I mean, your light is going to be shining so bright that you're going to be guiding others. Somebody could be becoming a teacher or a guru. An emperor. A fiery climax approaches. Something is coming to a point of a culmination, but it's not an ending. It's like the phoenix rising from the ashes. My God. Renewal, regrowth, a new phase. Be prepared, Aquarius. Congratulations. If some of you have not been feeling well, healing. This is the time to heal. If you've had some kind of health issues or somebody you love, the time to heal is here. Full moon in Virgo. If you have been facing situations at your workplace where you are not valued, you're good enough. And the Virgo is the sixth house. It is about work. It is about health. Okay? Okay. Don't allow somebody to minimize you at your workplace. You're not just good enough. You're better than the best Aquarius, okay? You are the mavericks, people who can think out of the box. You are the ones who are way ahead of your time, okay? And the age of Aquarius is upon us. So do not feel lesser than anybody else. Like I said, you are a million times better than all of them put together, okay? Full moon in Libra. Some of you have, going, have been going through something legal. A win-win outcome is forecast. If this is about something that you're going through at your workplace where they you know, put you in some kind of a bind or some kind of a stupid contract because it's the seventh house. Okay. It's about contracts where you sign papers. You're going to win. Excellent. Now, let's take some cards from my Lenormand deck for you. If there's an employer who's trying to put you in some stupid binding contract, uh-uh, not going to work. Aquarius, please, spirit. The mask. You're dealing with somebody who's fake around you at your workplace. I first want you to, this is the first message. If you've come here for a confirmation, if there's somebody here who's not on the up and up with you, I'm sorry to say you could be right. That's my first gut feeling. The second thing is, if you have any health issues, okay, they're being masked. I need you to go and do your checkups and stuff. I don't know what this is about. I do not know. Okay. I also feel there could be something here which is scaring the shit out of you. It's it's fake for health. Both these messages are here and, and it's being highlighted and I'm just delivering them to you, Aquarius. Like I said, take what's yours. Leave the rest. Now, Aquarius. Health, career, money. Something is coming to an end now. For those of you who have had some health issues, it's coming to an end. There's a card of Scorpio. It's the eighth house. Okay. For those of you who've had money problems or receiving money from others, that's the eighth house as well. Those problems are coming to an end. I am setting intentions for those of you who've been wanting to get some return of taxes, some money owed, other people's money. Whatever that situation is, because the win-win outcome is there. There's something legal here perhaps as well, that you've been fighting to receive money from somebody. It's all coming. Those hardships are going to end. If you've had any health issues, those are going to come to an end. And it's an ending and a transformation. Okay, You are ascending. Like I said, you're going to be crowned. But something has to end first. It's like that tower moment, which is again, Scorpio. Venus in Libra, you're going to be given the key. Some of you could be buying a brand new home. This is the key to a home. Some of you are going to find solutions to whatever you're going through health-wise, okay? If you're going through something which is with which is with health, you are going to find a solution to that. If you've been struggling with, oh, I've been holding the card wrong, sorry. If you've been struggling with something which has kept you caged at your workplace, you're going to find a solution to bounce, the golden key is going to be given to you. You are going to be given the key to higher places. 
more authority, more power, more prestige. It's all coming for you. So it would also be the keys to a brand new home, perhaps even a brand new car. Congratulations. Some of you are going to set yourself free from a cage. You're going to start working for yourself. And that is going to be the solution, the key for you to earn more money. Setting that intention for you as well. New business opportunities. You're the boss. No middleman. No working for someone. You create, you earn. Fabulous. Queries. The side Scorpio. There's a lot of Scorpio energy here, by the way. Okay. It's the eighth house. It's about money that you get from other people. Loans, insurances, tax returns. Now, with the side, there are two vibrations of this card. The lower vibration of this card is making a hasty decision. Do not do that. Do not make a hasty decision. The high vibration is reaping the harvest. That's what I wanted to engage with. Whatever has been going on, okay, whether you've been putting in effort with your help, you know, eating the right food, you're going to reap that harvest. Don't cut off any healthy plans that you put into action, whether it's working out, eating healthy. Don't hastily stop it. It's helping you. Reap the harvest of good health. Now, for those of you who've been wanting to remove some bad or toxic habit, substance, thought patterns, you have this opportunity. That, please hastily remove. Also remove, hastily remove people who are wearing masks in your life. Yeah. Remove them. You have this opportunity. Okay. If you have any money issues, overspending, Remove that too. On the other hand, for those of you who've been putting in the hard work, you're going to be reaping the harvest. It's time for you to collect, okay? The wheat, the gold, the perks, the benefits, the abundance. It's your time. I like this energy. Queries, please, for it. Two cards. There's somebody really fake with the mask and this. This is cancer energy in this deck. Be careful. I don't know if somebody's enticing you with something or giving you a lot of crap. They're wearing a mask. Do not trust everything that comes out of their mouth. This could be somebody very close to you, pretending to be very close to you. Somebody who is constantly changing. You know, snake molds sheds its skin, but another snake comes out. Be wary of somebody who's giving you some spiel which is way too good to be true. It is. They're fake. Now, the snake is also a symbol of healing. So if you and medicine, okay? So if you have any health issues, do not worry. The snake gives the venom and the anti-venom. You will get the right treatment. And a snake is about regeneration because it keeps shedding its skin and gets, you know, healthier. So it's coming for you. I'm setting intentions for this for you as well, Aquarius. The right medicine, the right doctor, rejuvenation, regeneration is coming your way. But there is also somebody around you who's trying to charm you, who's trying to give you, you know, tell you stuff which is not true. They're fake. They're wearing a mask. And you need to be careful. Okay. I also feel this person could have a lot of toxic habits. Or if some of you have anything toxic, just get rid of it, please. I just felt the need to say that as well. Now, we could be talking to a divine masculine. There's a letter A on this. It's a number 28. If this number means anything to you. Okay. Now. It's also possible that this, there's somebody who's a masculine figure around you who's fake. Okay, now, I am going to take some cards from my Kipper deck, okay? Aquarius, let's go. Kipper, thank you. Health, career, money. Okay, first of all, this card, it's a young, rich female. So number 12, this is a good omen for money. I first want to tell you your money is going to improve. Expect money coming your way. Now, this is somebody who's obsessed with luxury. You know, 
fancy cars, fancy watches, fancy homes, clothes, brands, somebody who's scared of aging. I think somebody here could be going through some kind of procedures, you know, to, you know, like your Botox, your fillers to, you know, enhance your looks or liposuction. Somebody could be going through some beauty procedures here. This is highlighted with this card. Or this is somebody who is going to suddenly be rich. I mean, and this is somebody who's young, young, rich and famous. This is coming for you. Congratulations. Okay. Somebody who likes a good life. You know, like I said, arty parties, you know, champagne and caviar. All this is there in this. It's coming. And then I have that regimented military person. This is the card, okay, of somebody who's going to get that badge, the honor. It's a number 22, if this number means anything to you. This, for me, okay, is my card of somebody receiving a higher position, somebody who could be wearing a uniform, who's getting their medals and their badges of honor. This is Taurus energy here. You could be receiving something from an official person or you could be crowned as an official person or get a higher position of power and authority for your work. It's coming for you. I'm also setting intentions. Some of you could be getting help from somebody who has a lot of authority and power. Okay. Now, the second house is also about food. And this is a person who's very regimented. So perhaps some of you need to control what you're putting in your mouth. And the minute you do that, Okay, it's going to help you with your health. There's something with food. The second house is money and food. Okay, the next card is theft. Look, this energy is showing up again. You have somebody around you who's fake. They're doing something right under your nose. This is my card of a warning that you could lose something precious if you're somebody who's as careless as I am. Please take care of your valuables, even your passwords and stuff, okay? But this is talking about somebody stealing from you right under your nose. And there's a child stealing. And there's a woman laughing. They know what they're doing. Please, the mask, you know, and that snake. That's the energy. It's definitely around you at your workplace. Now, this is the card of Capricorn. It's a 10th house. It's about career. It's a number 35. Somebody has waited for a long time for something. They have transformed. Perhaps you've grown older. You're somebody who has had a beautiful, long run of a career. I'm telling you, there's great honor coming for you. And it's coming from some higher authority. And whatever you've been waiting, you know, that hold your vision, you've held your vision. You've stayed on the path. It's been long. It's not been a sprint for you. It's been a marathon. I am setting intentions. You are going to be honored. You're going to be crowned. It's your moment to shine. And the universe is conspiring to give you this golden opportunity. And it's been a long way coming. And you deserve it. Congratulations, Aquarius. Congratulations. I don't know why I feel it's coming from somebody like a government or a huge authority. Let me know when it plays out, Aquarius. I would love to hear from you. So long. Some of you could be doing up your home, could be moving to a house which is way plush, more comfortable. You let your hair down, relax. I'm also, I also feel that somebody is going to be spending more time at home relaxing and working. And earning double. I don't know who this is. Claim it if you want that. Also, buying a new home, doing up your home, receiving money to do up a home, a loan to buy a home. This is also where meetings take place. So this is at your workplace. Somebody here is going to have wonderful times, you know, meeting up with their colleagues, brainstorming and coming up with new ideas. Setting that intention for you as well. Now, I also feel somebody's finally going to start to feel at home where they were. Yeah. yeah. New car. Getting a new car. This is my card of change. And because it's a car, I always think it's a cancer energy. It's a chariot card. You're going to be blazing ahead. 
over all the obstacles that have stopped you. Some of you could be changing homes, going to a bigger home, buying a better car, going to a bigger, more plush community. Somebody here is moving up. Oh, I love this energy for you. Love it. And it's been a long time coming. I am talking to somebody who has been steadfast. So happy to tell you this, Aquarius. And if there has been some health issues that you've been suffering with for a long time, there's going to be a huge shift in that, a change. Claim that. Now, I am going to end this reading by taking some Archangel Oracle cards for you and then some angel answers, okay? This is for your career, health and finances. Let's see which Archangel wants to give you a message. Thank you, Spirit. Brilliant idea. You are, like I said, the out-of-the-box thinker, Archangel Uriel. Yes, your idea is divinely guided. Take action. If you've had some business idea, take action. If you've had some brilliant idea about solving a health issue, you are on the right track. You are supported. Overcoming difficulties. Archangel Jeremiah, this is, my this is my card of the chariot. You are going to go over those obstacles like a bulldozer. The universe is going to be flattening them out for you and you're going to take charge. You're going to take the reins of your life and overcome every single obstacle in your path. The worst is now over, Aquarius. It's behind you. You are surmounting all challenges. It says any previous challenge. It's my card of the chariot. Comfort. Archangel Azriel. I am with you in your time of need, helping you heal. If some of you have undergone some kind of procedure, whatever, healing is happening. Do not worry. It may not seem you may still be having a few niggling, you know, pains and aches. But hey, hey, healing is happening. All right. And even if you're worried about somebody else, okay, a friend, a loved one, family member, do not worry. They're being healed. Claire Sentinence, Archangel Raguel. Notice your recurring physical and emotional feelings as they signify divine guidance. When you meet somebody, how do you feel? A beat, happy, or down in the dumps and shit? Okay. We meet both these type of people every single day. The ones who make us happy, we want more of them. Great. The ones who make you feel like shit, try to understand what prompts your body is giving you and spend lesser time with them. We can't totally avoid them. I know that. But if some of, somebody here is going through some kind of stress at their work, there are a lot of negative, toxic people. Strengthen your aura, your light body. This is not the only body you have with yoga, with a bit of, you know, listening to shlokes, mantras, meditation, beautiful music. Music heals you. Nature heals you, sons of nature. Create a strong light body and repel the other people because we can't ignore or avoid them all our life, but we can definitely repel and reduce their negative effects on us. And what that guidance, the guidance you receive from your body is on point. Claire Cognizance, Archangel Uriel. Pay attention to the thoughts and ideas that come to you. These are answered prayers. And the first card was brilliant idea. I don't know what, who is trying to communicate to you via your third eye, your ajna. It's whirring, bopping and bumping, man. It's lit. You're going to receive guidance, answers, ideas. Write them down. They are the blueprint for the answers you're looking for. These could also be superb ideas which you can put into action, okay? To create some business abundance, I don't know. Even answers for health issues, it's all coming to you. I love it, Aquarius. Now, I'm going to end your reading, my darlings, for health, career, and money with angel answer cards. It's a question. This has yes and no cards as well. I'll try to answer it. Pause the reading if you have to. Aquarius, <clears throat> career, health, 
finances. This one more card, Aquarius. I know it. Thank you. Listen to your intuition. That prompt, that nudge with your body, your higher self, your heart, any, you know it. Trust it. It is trustworthy intelligence that you're receiving from a higher source, one that is kind, benevolent, and extremely intelligent. Wait. If you have wanted to ask about a yes or no question, the answer is to wait. This tells me you do not have all the information yet. This energy is not permanent. It's going to shift. But right now, that sight energy that showed up, don't make a hasty decision. Wait. A year from now, this is my timing card, something is about to happen for you in the most beautiful, organic way. And in a year from now, some of you won't recognize yourself. Your health, whether it's for your health, whether it's for your career, whether it's for your money, you are going to ascend to the next level. Somebody here is being crowned. I don't know as what. Let me know who you are. But a year from now, all these blessings are going to be literally in front of your eyes and your hands. You're going to touch, feel, and enjoy them. I'm setting intentions for that. Remain high vibrational and extremely positive, enthusiastic, because it's coming. You asked and it's coming, Aquarius. I promise you. I know it's been a long time coming, but here it is. The worst is over. So my darling Aquarius, these were your messages for your career, health, and your finances. Comment below. Let me know what you're going through. Subscribe. Join my little family on YouTube. Follow me on Instagram. I post readings every single day. I also send out three card and angel answers, quick messages so that you can get guidance or some message from my readings at any given point in time. I would be honored to have you as a part of my YouTube family. Cannot wait to come back and do another reading for you, my darlings. Go and watch your love reading as well and also my other readings in the past. This too shall pass. You are loved, guided, guarded. You are very protected, Aquarius. Have a wonderful day. Bye.